The deadliest day yet in the Ukraine crisis on Friday saw heated words between Western allies and Russia at the UN. In supporting those who perpetrated the coup d'etat in Kiev, Russia's ambassador to the UN says, in tapping out the protesters, the US and EU bear great responsibility in destroying the path to a peaceful resolution to the crisis. Russia's synthetic indignation over Ukraine's proportionate and measured actions convinces no one. The fact that Ukraine has now taken some steps to try to restore order is to be expected. A spokesman read out a statement from UN Chief Ban Ki-moon calling for calm. He therefore urges all sides to exercise maximum restraint and appeals to those with grievances to voice them peacefully so as to avoid more bloodshed. U.S. President Barack Obama says the militants' use of sophisticated weapons in Ukraine was telling. The notion that this is some spontaneous uprising in eastern Ukraine uh, is belied by all the evidence of well-organized, trained, armed militias with the capacity to shoot down helicopters. A spokesman for Russian President Vladimir Putin, aired by state broadcaster Russia24, said Ukrainian authorities would answer for their military crackdown. The dramatic language appears to raise the stakes. Moscow has tens of thousands of troops on the border and claims the right to invade if necessary to protect Russian-speaking civilians.